The President of the Belgium Olympic and Interfederal Committee, Pierre Olivier Beckers. Let me welcome you here tonight and thank each and every one of you to be here with us to celebrate together in his home country not only the 12 magnificent years of Jacques Rogge's presidency of the IOC, but also his lifetime dedication to the Olympic movement, which each of you has witnessed as a family member, as an athlete, a colleague, a friend, a fan, or a supporter. Trying to describe the list of his accomplishments as president of the IOC would be a Herculean task. Let me simply, therefore, highlight his fight against doping and illegal betting, his commitment to strong ethics in governance, a more modern administration, the financial health of the IOC, and, of course, the creation of the Youth Olympic Games. Let me simply say this. Thank you. Mission accomplished, Mr. President. <laughs> Dr. Thomas Bach, ninth president of the IOC, Dear Thomas, the floor is yours. In all this time, dear Jacques, you never lost sight of the athlete's point of view. And I think the most pleased you are tonight that among the guests uh, there are so many Belgian athletes who, uh, whom you know for a long time, who were your colleague in, in the Olympic Games, and uh, whom uh, you were guiding as a chef de mission of the Belgian Olympic team, like you were guiding all of us in your quality of president of the IOC. We all know that we can build on a very strong foundation on which we, my executive board colleagues and all the other IOC members can build. That is your doing and thanks to you. During all those years, you have been an example for me and I wondered, how do you do it? How did you move people? How did you bring organizations to the next level? How did you make things happen? A balancing act that some might think impossible. However, you, Jacques, have always managed to find the right responses, even in time of crisis, to enable the Olympic movement to continue its work and spread its values of excellence, respect and friendship. We will now be treated to a performance that perfectly reflects the impossible balancing acts. The 46 testimonial that has been written down for you in a unique book. There is only one original copy of this book, which the president of the Belgium Olympic and Interfederal Committee Pierre-Olivier Beckers and the president of the Belgium Olympians Association, Gaston Roulins, would like to present to you now. start by saying how touched I am by your presence. Thank you for being with us this evening. And thank you in particular to all the Olympians, the medalists and the Olympic champions to be here today, because they are the core of our movement and the priority of our actions. You came from the four corners of our small country, 
but you also came from abroad and from far away, from Australia, from the United States of America, from Morocco, from Russia, and many other faraway countries. Thank you for that. Your presence is a true gift to my family and myself. And this gathering, this dinner tonight, is a wonderful opportunity to thank you. And I want to thank you because my merits are very limited. I heard a lot of praise and I had a lot of kind words, and I know they were sincere, but I want to play down my responsibility in that. Thomas Edison said once that success is 99% transpiration and 1% inspiration. I had the 99%, but unfortunately, as an athlete, I did not have the 1%. There is a saying that behind every great man, there is a great woman. I don't claim to be great, but I have two women behind me. My beloved wife, Anne, who has always supported me, Anne, whom I met when I was 19, she was 18, she always supported me. Thank you very much, Anne. But also thank you very much to Yasmin Brackefeld, who has joined the team when I was elected president of the European Olympic Committees back in 1899. Both ladies deserve a warm applause. Thank you.